Hello everyone, Mary here from Ireland again. Please don't spawn. Okay. Uh, yes, St. Stephen's Day here in Ireland. Happy Christmas to you all again and Happy New Year. Um, I'm here today with our January forecast. Just see what's coming up. I feel there is going to be a big shift, a quick one. Um, <clears throat> check with your astrologers. There, this Uranus coming into Taurus, if I'm right, every seven years there's a change and then there's other stuff happening that hasn't happened in 84 years or whatever. So there's big stuff coming. So we're going to see what our cards will bring for January. And if you would like a personal forecast like this, um, I'm going to do them for January, February, March, whatever month you want. 15 euro per month or 40 euro per three months. Okay. So here we go. Oh, there's one that's flipped. Okay, it's upside down. I'm using John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Because I kind of feel these forecast what's coming up. So I'll take the one that's flipped first. Listen. Okay, so we'll be going to get messages and guidance. So quiet time, listening, not jumping into stuff. Listen to your higher guidance. Also on the earthly plane, listen to people who want your help. Or listen to other people in conversations. So you'll be doing a lot of listening and the, the ears are, what's the word, not controlled, overseen, we'll say, by the third eye. Now, we have ear chakras as well, I hear back here somewhere, but uh, the third eye, work on clearing your third eye, it will help with your listening to others as well. So, listening to your higher guidance, listening to others listening to what they're not saying so that you can understand where they're coming from and listening to your inner guidance, your inner wisdom. So it's a listening month, okay? And you'll be hearing messages. You'll be words of songs on the radio, um, conversations that you overhear on the bus. Um, you'll be here. Your, your, your listening skills will be hyped. Okay, so just know that. Number two. Two people, the 2nd of January. Too much, too little. Whatever too means to you. This situation is working as it's meant to be and everyone in it is being helped. Now, that's what 222 two, two means, so we presume two, two on its own is much the same. Look at all the lovely colours there. She has red, the base chakra. This is pink, the heart chakra, solar plexus, blue for the throat, white, the crown chakra, that's orange, sacral chakra, all the chakras. So clearing all the chakras. Even not even clearing them, strengthening them this month, but especially your listening skills. Okay, one in here. I'm going to choose the next three together. And one in here. I'm a little hoarse myself. I had a head cold, but a little chesty, but not bad. Thank God it came as quickly, uh, it went as quickly as it came. Right, okay, manifest, we had that last month or last week or whatever, we had it lately or maybe it was on my Facebook page, manifest, things are happening fast, watch your thoughts, only think about what you want, only think about your desires, ask, there's a full moon on the 2nd of January, um, and this is number one, new beginnings. Ask for what you want to bring into your life. This is a new calendar year. 
ask, think about your life. What would you like to change? What would you like to bring more of into your life? Ask and you shall receive. This is a good time for asking, manifesting, believing and trusting that you will receive what is best for you. With no doubt and no fear. Okay? Listen to your inner guidance as well on this. You're breaking the chains. People around you are breaking the chains, healing, moving upwards, bringing in more light, new beginnings, new healing, another level. We're all moving up another level. So be careful what you ask for. Have no doubt and have no fear because you're going to get what you think about. Okay. Heal. Number 17. So we'll say the 17th of the month again. I mentioned the 15th of the month in a reading um, for December. I don't know whether it was December reading or a weekly reading, but the 15th of December was a big day for me, a big night of, I was awake most of the night, of connecting and shifting. Uh, big stuff happened and I don't know what they were. I haven't seen them in the physical yet. I have an idea, but I don't see the physical evidence yet. But it was a big night. So the 17th of January, see what goes on for you. Healing day, we'll say. Or we'll say the 7th of the 1st. 7th of January. Or the number 17, what does it mean to you? It's a big number, I think. Um, 717 was a big number. So the 17th of the months were being brought to our notice. So healing. Control. What I would say is do not try to control the outcome. Do not try and control how things go. Listen. Trust your inner guidance. Don't act until you're ready to act. I think it's all on the higher levels you're do we're working this month. Listening to our inner guidance. What do we want to bring into our lives? What do we want to manifest? Asking for them. Truly believing you will get what you think about and what you will ask for. Healing month. Now it's blue as well. There may be some speaking taking place and some communication on the earthly plane. But most of this work this month is being done within you. And... We have a certain amount of control. We have free will. We know when to act. We will take our actions when we feel guided to. But really, most of the control is happening on the higher levels. Seeing with new eyes, seeing with higher eyes, the perspective from a higher level rather than the earthly level. Because there's so much going on on the higher planes, behind the scenes, in your high, with your higher self, your higher guidance will come that through down to you, listening, quiet, take time, feeling your feelings, feeling what's the next right step for you, and then take an action. But the universe is really, has most of the say this month. And I saw that myself in December. Um, I think I mentioned it in my last video, my last weekly video, about I tried to book flights from here to there to Luton and back for a funeral. It didn't work. Just times, prices, the whole lot. I had to change the whole thing and I had to go to London. And London was work, energetic work. So it's just unreal. You are where you're meant to be at any given time. And if something isn't working out the way you think it should work out, let the universe just show you. Because it really knows best. And I always say at the end of a trip or at the end of an experience, well, I knew it was divinely guided because of the way things happened. You know, everything was taken out. I intended one thing, but... Everything changed and it was as if the universe was saying, no, nope, that's not what you have to do. This is what you have to do. And the universe was in total charge or if you like to call it your higher self in total charge. So 
listen, do your higher manifestation work and your healing all on the higher planes. Remember that the universe will guide you. Trust in that. Trust in that. The week before I went to Luton and London, Jesus was in my meditation and brought me down a big, 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 deep hole. And I said, what are we doing here again? I said, but I had no fear. He had me in his arms. And um, he said, do you trust me? I said, I do. And I will do whatever you ask me to do to move everybody, the earth, the planet forward. And then we were whisked up out of the hole. I didn't have to walk up it. I didn't have to climb up it. I was just whisked up. And because uh, I told the higher powers, my higher self, that I trust. Trust that I am going to be guided to where I'm meant to be, who I'm meant to meet, what I'm meant to do at the right time. And it will come through my gut, my inner knowingness, yes, or the nudge book a flight or the nudge to sit down and write the nudge to paint the nudge to call somebody the nudge to write a letter you will know so just trust all of that now this video is getting long but i also took out colette baron reed's postcards from spirit deck these are from your loved ones in spirit <coughs> mostly Okay, so we choose one. This is a good time for connecting with loved ones who have passed. And they're here for you. They're helping you. They want the best for you. They want... They did what they could when they were here themselves in the best way they knew how to do it. And now they're helping you to be even better and bigger than they were. And... Oh, we had two falling out here. Uh, trust the invisible all is well these are the messages on the bottom maybe that's all i need to read trust the invisible exactly what i was saying to you there all is well we'll read the trust the invisible one dearest you if you allow your awareness to settle in you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you you will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. Exactly what the whole reading was about. Higher planes. The receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but your first, the primary navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multisensory multi-dimensional beings spirit infuses all things and your soul's job is to discover those essential truths here on earth where we all agreed to play today trust your spidey sense s-p-i-d-e-y your spidey sense read between the lines tune in to the stories behind the stories and your world will show you miracles Fear not, for we are right here and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. That is just perfectly going in with the rest of the reading. Just perfect. <clears throat> All is well. Dearest you, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Your manifestation card. Be grateful. Praise things before they manifest. And always ask for the highest good. So praise them. Thank you for receiving this as if it's here now. For everybody's highest good. When you plead and beg, that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg. Instead, offer your prayers as sacred gifts, as a testament to your faith in a higher power. Open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you. Add meditations as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies, peace, understanding and joy. And there's your listen card. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you. 
all and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. Now, that's just a wonderful reading and I am so excited about this new year and the new way that things are going to unfold. We've cleared an awful lot. We're higher, we're lighter, we're ready, we're moving forward and just get excited. Trust, believe that no matter what happens, it's the right thing to happen. No matter who walks into your life, they're meant to be there. No matter what opportunity you see, look at it. Ask for what you want, knowing that it will manifest for your highest good in the way it's meant to unfold on earth. So have a great, 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 great January. And um, I'm here. Check out my website, my Patreon page. I'm putting more of my Twin Flame story up there. I have one video at the moment for excuse me, patrons only. That shows you I'm not ready to put it all out. I don't think everybody around me is ready to put it all out on YouTube publicly yet either. But for my seven patrons and anybody else who wants to become a patron, it is there on my last video there. So I'll be speaking more about that. Sorry, that's my computer behind just logging off. And so it's time for me to go too. So... Be in touch on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram. Love and light.